every October, we often reflect on the journey of breast cancer survivors. But this month, the morning team decided to switch things up a bit and shed some light on the families left to deal with the loss of a loved one who fought to the end. This morning, we share with you the story of a young woman from Harbor Island who, despite losing her battle, touched the lives of an entire community. Ashley, I want to fight. I want to get through this. I don't want to die. I, I just want to live. With pain in her eyes, Ashley Ramming says her sister Latoya Hudson had the fight of a soldier's heart and was eager to beat breast cancer. But after a year-long battle, Latoya died from the killer disease at the age of 35. While her sister's death still stings, Ashley reflected on the day that dreaded diagnosis changed her sister's life. Latoya was very devastated when she found out she had breast cancer. Um, it was my mom, my sister, and my cousin Brittany, we both, we all were with her that day at the ultrasound clinic. And we knew right away what happened when, once she came outside, she was crying and we all embraced her with a hug. It was a lot. While the battle was challenging, Latoya kept her faith in God and sought chemotherapy treatments at a hospital in the United States. The wife and mother had to do the unthinkable, and that was to leave her young children, husband, and family behind. She started her chemotherapy in Fort Lauderdale, where she had to leave her kids for months, sometimes weeks to go over there to continue her treatment. But this is not the first time Ashley had to deal with this killer disease among women, and studies show that breast cancer is hereditary. However, Ashley says she is personally keeping a close eye on the disease by conducting regular self-examinations. I haven't had any mammograms as yet. I had hand examinations done by doctors and nurses, but I haven't had any mammograms done mainly because they say it. I'm too young to have it done. Ashley says her sister had a bubbly personality and was well respected by the community of Harbor Island. In fact, on the one year anniversary of her death, the community did something special in her memory last month. I decided to go ahead and do something in her memory and to bring awareness to the females in Harbor Island, Annie Luther and all around the Bahamas to breast cancer and, you know, to help others who are fighting along the way that we support them. We asked for a small donation of $5 from everyone who wanted to attend the Fun Run Walk. And we also had other donations from persons who gave more than $5. We accumulated roughly about $800 and we donated the funds to another victim in Harbor Island. 